in my earlier parts of my career, I was a little bit more aggressive and directive and that's fine. There is totally a time for that. But in this role, I, I tend to play more of a facilitating role. So my job is to listen and I try to be a person where people can come and talk to me about whatever's going on. My name is Margot Schmorak and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hostfully. Um, Hostfully is a company that makes software for property management companies. It helps them run their business better, make more money and ensure a great guest experience. Blue Startups is an amazing choice for an early stage company that is trying to figure out how to grow itself up. Um, it's kind of like the preteen stage where like you don't really know what your identity is. You have an idea of who you are, what you like, but you don't really know. And uh, as we all know, adolescence can be brutal. And so I think that um, Blue Startups helps make that a lot easier. So that, that's what I would recommend. Yeah. And we were excited about Blue Startups because it, it had close ties to the travel industry. Um, my family actually is in Hawaii, so like there was a little bit of personal interest in going there. My co-founders and I felt like we could divvy up the travel, and we did, um, to be there. And we, yeah, we felt like we just needed the credential. And I mean, I think also we needed some cash too, but that was a little bit less of a priority than just having somebody help us. We're all first-time entrepreneurs. So, um, Shenoa is amazing with this. I mean, from the, I thought it was going to be this process where we come in and after a few weeks, she tells us something and it was like, we came in and right away, she was like, this is what you need to be working on. Go focus on it. Don't talk to me kind of until you've like figured this out. And it was the right advice because what we ended up doing was pivoting our business model to being a subscription business model. And that gave us a lot more runway to have more time to figure out how to, um, how to really make this into a venture venture scale business. And Shanoa helped us with that. I mean, she was really the, the primary person who pushed us hard towards that direction. I think that the benefit that we got out of it that we didn't realize that we would get was the quality of the education and the program itself, like the way that it's structured, the way that all companies um, are mandated to be present at all of the sessions, um, the way that it covers all the range of topic areas that you need to know as a startup founder. It's super high quality. And actually when I look at other programs out there, I think it's one of the best, um, even though it's a little bit of a, like a hidden gem, you know? Um, we went through another accelerator program, which was also really good, but that one was more focused on just subscription-based companies. And it didn't provide just like the well-rounded business fundamentals that Blue Startups did. And for the stage that we were in, Blue Startups was perfect, which was we were, we had an idea, we'd done a lot of reading, we'd won a bunch of pitch competitions, you know, we had, a, we'd made a tiny bit of money, but it was like, we have to grow up as a business and really understand like, what are the legal ramifications of this? And what are the, you know, how should we think about go to market? And what's the appetite um, to investors for our, our idea? And, and Blue Startups helped us kind of round out that foundation of business um, uh, considerations that we hadn't been able to kind of think about all at once. So that was really powerful for us. And, and I, I want to add to that we are all like pretty seasoned operators. So like I have experience in leading a marketing, a multi-million dollar marketing organization. I have experience running, you know, kind of a general operations um, role in a startup. My co-founder David has run operations. He was COO of a startup that got acquired. Um, and he also was, you know, ran sales and marketing there. But it's still nice to have someone who can look at that early stage of company and stage is so important. And when you get advice as a founder, having advice for that's appropriate for your stage is so important. I mean, honestly, advice that is geared towards a company that is an, a year later than you is totally useless. So having someone who can help you iterate on those early stages is really important. And I Blue startups help do it, do that a lot for us. So why did I become an entrepreneur? You know, I actually didn't realize that I wanted to become an entrepreneur until pretty late in my career. Um, I've always been somebody who cares about making an impact and I was fortunate earlier on in my career to have a few experiences that um, made me really excited about the impact I was making and then this time around I just thought it would be fun to run the company myself. So um, a few of the experiences are one is I worked at Apple and helped to launch the iPhone developer program in 2008. This is right after I graduated from business school at University of Michigan and at Apple um, I was able to put together 
strategy presentations on how we should be launching the program. We rolled it out on the first day to hundreds of thousands of developers. And now looking back, I realized what a momentous occasion that was. At the time, it just felt like a lot of craziness, but um, it was really fun to be in that um, dynamic environment where I could make an impact and really help improve the world, um, especially when it comes to Apple products. Um, another experience that I had was working at an early stage startup where we took the business from zero to about eight million in annual revenue over four years. And I did everything there from learning how to work printing and laser engraving machines, taking out the trash to doing the financials. Um, I ended up running a team of about 30 people. I worked in product and operations and I loved the energy that you get from a small team when it's all pointed in the right direction. Um, so when it came time to think about my next career move, um, most recently, I teamed up with my co-founder, David, and we started iterating on this idea around vacation rentals. And um, we were co-founders and working together. And then eventually, um, I, I wanted to be the CEO and see what it felt like to, to play this role. And so um, here I am now um, as the CEO of Hostfully, and I so work very closely with my co-founders, David and Stefan. Um, we really lead the team together. Um, we all have different reasons why we became entrepreneurs. I think for them, actually, um, they are looking to scratch their own itch. They are both property managers themselves. And so it gives us a lot of great uh, knowledge as a company to, to build a business in a helpful way. Um, but for me, um, it was a little bit of a different path than I think you hear from most entrepreneurs. The biggest lesson as an entrepreneur in this company is that this is a very long process. This is not like a two year or three year thing. And any company that expects that has failed that I know. <laughs> so, you know, when I think about the companies that felt like they wanted a, like a quick win, it, that's just not how this process works. It's a long haul. Um, and it's a long haul, not just with the company and the job and the idea, but also with your investors, with your co-founders. And so you really need to trust and love the people you're working with. Otherwise, you're just going to suck. <laughs> so um, that's one big lesson. I think another lesson is that persistence goes a long way. So even if you're not experienced or you might not have the pedigree or the specific skills that people think you might have in an industry, you can totally power through it by just being persistent and pushing through. Um, I've seen entrepreneurs who are kind of like, not necessarily the most talented people, but are the most persistent, make it through. And um, so I think persistence is an un undervalued skill and undervalued quality, uh, but it is something that I would look for if I were going to invest in a company, or if I was gonna start a new company with new people. Thank you.